All right. Uh, my name is Ashton, and uh, we are talking about today, we're talking about the Black Achievement Fund. I am a member. I'm a member of that organization. For those who want to know how to join that organization, if you've never heard of them before, they're great for our people. They're great uh, for anyone who is really minority and you really want to know where you come from. But uh, it is founded uh, by our key, uh, or he is the CEO or the one who runs uh, the program. Uh, you can reach him. Our key is spelled A-R-K-E-E -E at B-A-F uh, dot solutions. That's where you can reach him. That's his email. If you want to join, it's $9 a month for those who would like to join the Black Achievement Fund. You can email him there and tell him Ashton sent you and that you would like to become a member. They also have a website, www.baf.solutions. For those who would also want to learn more about it and read more about the Black Achievement Fund today, I think that it's important for black people to understand uh, the missing pages of their history, okay, so that they know where they come from as people, so that they know that their history just did not begin with slavery, that we have thousands of years of history going way back, some 70,000 years way, way back, and that black people are the oldest body. We are the oldest people on the planet through lineage. And that's another thing that we help people understand that through their lineage that you understand how old you are uh, within the spectrum of the population. You understand that through the Black Achievement Fund and how it affects your life through subject matter and business practices. That's another reason that People should join the Black Achievement Fund because they also teach you best business practices if you are a minority business owner and how you can get your business also advertised on their blacklist for listed fees on their website. When you become a member, you get to learn about these things. And being able to get your business listed first, that's also important because the Black Achievement Fund believes in supporting businesses like what they stand for. And we stand for inclusion and equal equality for our people, but we want to see it for all people, but we want to see it overall in general for African people, African descent, or minority bodies. At the end of the day, we know the plight in America is difficult for some people. We know that it's difficult uh, if you're a minority, African American, Indian, or any other person that feels like they have been oppressed by any reason, um, by any government or et cetera. The Black Achievement Fund teaches you that uh, you can overcome these things through a uh, coalition and through a different way of thinking. We think about ourselves in a different way each time we have different sessions. We also have the Black Achievement Fund Toastmasters program, which I'm a part of. That's also a separate fee-based program. For people who want to sign up, I believe that fee is like $60 a year to sign up, which a year is affordable for Toastmasters, which teaches people about public and motivational speaking and what it takes and what you should do in public speaking and how public speaking compares to other industries um, and how it doesn't. And so I think that at the end of the day, when you learn and pick a program within the Toastmasters, then you will be able to strive and do what you need to in your life to make it. The program is very, very important for people because I believe that it teaches you how to make a way out of no way. And it teaches you to pick up the pieces in your life and it shows you that you are somebody and that, again, that your heritage in America, if you live here in the States, didn't just start here on the continent of the United States, that Black people's heritage is in Africa and it's deep in Africa and that black people were not a poor population like maybe would be reflected in media in America today. Africa was by no means poor. And when you look up the deep history of Africa was jasper, silver, or gold. Things mentioned in the Bible even was brought to Christ, even certain perfumes and other things that were not sold in other places 
in the world. So that's something to think about. And Africa was not poor. And uh, Egypt is a part of the body of that. Uh, so I think that people, once you learn your history and learn that it is far reaching, and that's what the Black Achievement Fund is all about. It's not uh, saying that we're better than you because we do. No, that's not what the Black Achievement Fund is about. We're not a part of Black Lives Matter. We're not, you know, we can work with places like that, I'm sure, but we're not a part of it. So I want people to know that the Black Achievement Fund is an educational fund to help uh, inform people about different things, including voting rights and other things like that. So um, not only does it teach you your history, it just brings you up the current day stuff, current day topics, those types of things. They also have uh, spiritual classes for people who love those things, uh, mindfulness, wellness, all those type of things. And that's important because you want to uh, be able to have the whole experience and they represent uh, all religions and stuff, and they welcome all of that. So don't feel ashamed if you worship a different religion. All religions uh, are accepted because the organization believes in uh, an open mind makes a one body, meaning that we accept people for who they are, where they are, and uh, that makes a robust and strong organization when you begin to accept people um, for who they are and not exclude people because of their differences. So I think if we think like that and we continue to walk like that and talk like that, then uh, we'll have a better America and globe, I think, for everybody. Um, when you think about the Black Achievement Fund, uh, the Black Achievement Fund, excuse me, that is what they want. They want us to be able to empower our lives. I came to be a part of the Black Achievement Fund through Musadiq. Um, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing his name right. Brother, don't get mad because I'm, I'm trying uh, Musadiq, uh, he uh, brought me in, and I'm grateful for that. Um, I believe that him and somebody else paid for it. Um, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful because it's, it's helping me understand more deeply about myself. Thank you to Musadiq. Thank you to our key and those who run it, um, the Black Achievement Fund. Without these folks and those who make it work behind the scenes, it would be uh, mighty difficult. I'm glad that our key brought me in. I've been in it uh, for about a couple of months now. Uh, I just love the vibe of it uh, and how they run it. It's very uh, organized, uh, you know, and, and they have a place for everybody. And they even have an internship program that uh, I believe they'll try to get up and running. I believe that's already going. But uh, folks can get signed up for that if you want to, you know, have, uh, if you have children and you want them to join, they have internships. Uh, for uh, different levels and those type of things. So if you want to do that, if you want to do the Black Achievement Fund, uh, Toastmasters, then you're more than welcome to do so. You're more than welcome to do the Black Achievement Fund, Toastmasters, because uh, it's, it's, it's powerful. They teach you public speaking. Uh, they teach you about business. It's important to join an organization like this, and they actually show you in some places how to fill out forms and certain forms for LLCs, things like that. So the Black Achievement Fund is important. And I hope that someday we can get a billboard up and just with them on it and my face on it or something. So I think that'll be a, another big step for me. And, uh, you know, sometimes some people may not see if it's possible, but I hope someday we can make that possible for their program. Because when you go the route of trying to get a billboard up the regular way, yeah, that costs thousands of dollars, right? So... They are trying to find even a solution to get the word out about their program. And I think being able to uh, work with the people who can help me in that endeavor, I'm grateful for that. And I know that the Black Achievement Fund wants the message spread far and wide by using every available surface of media, including newspapers as possible, billboards, social media, television, and radio, and et cetera. So, Whatever we can use to get the message out, and for those of you who have TV or radio stations, I certainly would love to come on your TV or radio station and talk about the Black Achievement Fund and even my life or my book if folks out there have uh, TV and radio stations that they would like for me to come on. I certainly wouldn't mind doing that and representing the uh, Black Achievement Fund. You guys or you folks uh, can find me at... Uh, Amazon, uh, my book at Amazon, excuse me, but social media, you can find me on uh, Instagram uh, under Golden Ashton underscore US. Uh, you can also find me on YouTube um, pretty much the same way. Uh, you'll see me there 
And then you'll find me on Facebook under Golden Ashton uh, US. You'll find me the same on Instagram, um, Golden Ashton, I believe Instagram is dot US um, or something like that. You'll be able to find me there. Um, and so these media platforms, it's something I'm using. You'll also be able to find me on LinkedIn. So for folks who, uh, you know, you can look me up on LinkedIn, it's easy to find me. I'm the swimmer and all of those profiles uh, have that distinction. It has my book cover so that when you click on it, you know that it's me. And it'll say swimming upstream to realize the dream. And then you know that you found me on LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Twitter, uh, and all of those platforms and Instagram. So I'm really appreciative to all of those who follow me and that'll help generate following for me as we continue to grow uh, this podcast and get it beyond the borders of Texas and get it uh, out to the masses and those who continue to listen. Thank you for stopping by Keeping People Real TV today, Dallas Fort Worth. Thank you.